We'll keep this short. This is looking at Dragon OS, LTS, and as many applications as I could in the short amount of time I had with the Blade RF equipment. Actually, I had two different types. Uh, this is pulling up Cubic SDR, the compile version that's included in Dragon OS, which would be using the uh, SOAPI, SOAPI modules from the PPA repositories. Uh, I think it's SOAPI module version 7. I uh, had a 400-ish megahertz antenna attached around about that range. Just wanted to pull up the applications, make sure it was seeing the hardware okay and everything appeared to be fine. And then I would check SOAPI uh, afterwards to make sure that the device was still found, no issues there. What I don't show on here is I, I actually did try with Universal Radio Hacker and then uh, GNU Radio itself with the Osmo uh, SDR uh, back in and everything seemed to be fine there as well. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the SigDigger app image versus what I've compiled and included in just this past uh, Oral Dragon OS LTS, uh, the public R2. The reason why I chose to compile was to include the SOAPI SDR or, or SDR Play support. Uh, but if you want to try the SigDigger app image, just uh, download it from uh, the developer's GitHub page, make it executable, and then you can run that, which uh, includes whatever modules he compiled at the time. I, I think it's like SOAPI modules version 8. Had no, no issues with the Blade RF there. Everything seemed to work uh, perfectly fine. I wish I had taken more time and did the panoramic display with the Blade RF. This is a relatively stock uh, image of Dragon OS that you see here although I was doing a little research and I am doing research on getting SRS LTE uh, working uh, with some Edis equipment. I had a little bit of time with Edis so I'll do a separate video on that and show you some of the nuances uh, that I found with Dragon OS to, to get it to work properly. This is using the SIG digger that was included in Dragon OS. You can see there was uh, some different verbiage there in the terminal but everything still seemed to work perfectly fine. The only thing that I noticed is that when you create a new user in Dragon OS during the install, that user is is fine as far as what groups he's assigned to, or what you know as far as what the user is assigned to. But if you make another user with say add user, just be aware of the groups that that user is added to. It should be uh, part of uh, the plug dev group. If not, you'll get some permission errors with. Uh, trying to use the blade rf this is gqrx i had no issues there i know that was a, a quick little capture of it but i did use it uh, pretty extensively bef uh, before shutting down the equipment yeah so uh, again everything seemed to work uh, fine with uh, the time i uh, or during the time i had the equipment all right thank you